there. Welcome to the latest episode of The Sexy Thyroid Solution. I'm your host, Angela Brown. So today I want to talk all about caffeine and the thyroid. But if you could do me a really big favor, if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video each week. So this is a topic that is um, talked about a lot because one of the biggest things when people have a slow thyroid or hypothyroidism is they really struggle with fatigue. They usually just don't have any energy and what's the first thing that they go for is caffeine. It's very typical. I went through this myself. Um, I became very addicted to caffeine because I could not function. My thyroid was so, so sluggish and I relied on caffeine. I used it a lot. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't realize back then how, of how bad this was making um, sort of a vicious cycle for me. So. What does caffeine actually do? Caffeine is a stimulant. So it stimulates your central nervous system and can give you kind of so-called energy. But it, unfortunately, when it does that, it's not just the brain that can be impacted where it's giving you this like false sense of energy. Um, remember, your thyroid is can act as a master gland. Your pituitary gland is essentially your master gland and it sends signals down to the thyroid to release um, more thyroid hormone. So the thyroid in a sense can can act as like your master gland as far as metabolism goes. It regulates your metabolic processes in the body. So your thyroid gland can essentially become very, very taxed when it's constantly getting bombarded um, with this so-called fake energy and this caffeine that's coming in the body. Because when caffeine is present, the big thing that caffeine does is it will try to increase your, your body's metabolism. And again, your thyroid controls that. So your thyroid is going to constantly keep getting taxed over and over, and it can make it even harder on your thyroid. So if you already have a slow thyroid, in the end, you can end up slowing your thyroid down even worse. So you have to be very careful um, with um taking in caffeine, especially, like I said, usually once you start, you you just have so much of it. It's usually um, an excessive amount um, and it can be an all day long event like I used to do and your, your thyroid cannot keep doing that. It will just keep getting taxed harder and harder. Um, the, the hard part, like I mentioned, it is very difficult when you are struggling with a slow thyroid. You usually don't have energy. You usually hit a wall. Sometimes you just can't even wake up in the morning and I used to struggle with that as well. So something to keep in mind is to find out why, okay? So let's say that you are on thyroid medication and you're still exhausted. It's not doing anything. Okay, well, why is the thyroid medication not working? Is it the right dose? Is it the right medication? Are you taking it the correct way? Um, and then is the medicine even getting inside your cell? So when you take the medicine, it's thyroid hormone or the thyroid hormone is going inside the cell. So that's where it's gonna take some investigating. You might have to figure out do you have a mineral imbalance? Do you have a gut infection? Um, is the liver sluggish? Because so much thyroid, horm thyroid hormone conversion happens in the liver. Um, do you have some sex hormone um, things going on? Are your adrenals completely taxed? Remember, your adrenals are your fight or flight. They release cortisol. So those might be getting very taxed as well. So there's a lot of connection there. So you might have to do some investigating, um, which is exactly what I do with my clients and, and inside my thyroid program, is we dig in deeper and find out why is the thyroid doing this in the first place? That way we can get to the root cause of why you don't have fatigue instead of band-aiding it. So if you are struggling with that um, and you're like, I need a replacement for caffeine, um, it's a it's a difficult thing because like I said, you don't wanna get hooked on um, caffeine. Something you could try is something like adrenal cocktail. Um, I do recommend to kind of know a little bit more about your own minerals before you um, really go crazy with adrenal cocktail. Um, there's a lot of research out there on adrenal cocktail on how to make it. Um, I have my own recipe um, that I can always share with you. Um, if you would like that, comment below or send me um, an email or something and I can send that to you. But again, I do like to see your mineral status before you really um, start taking that every single day, but it is a great alternative, particularly for people who have a slow thyroid, you usually have some imbalances there and you do need some of these minerals that will help boost, um, you know, some of, some of that energy. So, um, I hope this video helps you. Um, if you have more questions with this, or like I said, you want more information about like the adrenal cocktail that could help with you, um, on the interim, um, definitely let me know, reach out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.